Holy smokes. I think we are at the point where it's almost impossible to tell an AI video apart from a real video. So ByteDance just dropped this crazy AI project called OmniHuman1. And this basically takes a single image and then you can add any audio or any video and it would basically animate this image with your audio or video. So let me play you some examples. You will become. And I know about this because I had the opportunity to stand on top of the Olympic podium and feel the weight of that gold medal around my neck. And I wouldn't have been there had it not been for the end. How crazy is that? Just from one photo, it was able to not only lip sync this woman to the audio, but it's also able to, you know, animate her entire body movements to align with the audio. Here's another example. You boring is easy. Everybody can be boring, but you're good at that. Life is not a game, people. Life isn't a serial either. Well, it is a serial. And if life is a game, aren't we all on the same team? Again, an absolutely insane demo. Notice how his teeth are also consistent. Plus, not only is it animating this boy, but it's also animating some people walking in the background. Here's yet another example. What would art be like without emotions? It would be empty. What would our lives be like without emotions? They would be empty of values. So uh, a famous uh, classical poet said, we hate and we love, can one tell me why? Catulus. Uh, science does not answer why questions. Notice it even animates his breathing sounds. Here's yet another example. My first guess is the man who made electric cars a thing and is currently working on perfecting reusable rockets, space travel, connecting the human brain directly to computers, connecting cities with electromagnetic bullet trains, the Starlink satellite system that's so important to the war in Ukraine, and then on Tuesday. He's <laughs> going to work on that. Very nice, very nice. And notice again how it's animating his entire body. Plus, note that when the audience laughs, it's not making this guy laugh. So the AI knows to distinguish this man's voice from the audience's voice. Here are some more examples. Now, some of you may know me as a stand-up comedian and from my appearances on Roast, but I am not here to roast you tonight. I want you to know that. And how could I, really? You're all so famous, so talented, so powerful. I mean, you could really do anything. I mean, except... I mean, this is just insanely realistic, the way it makes her head and body move so naturally as she talks, and it completely syncs with the audio. These principles will not only make your user's journey more pleasant, they'll contribute to better business metrics as well. Users hate being interrupted, and they hate getting broken experiences. Keeping these principles in mind in your app design makes for a better user journey. Again, notice how here it's animating his entire body, including making his feet kind of move around. Plus, it's even animating some of the audience in the foreground. Just an insanely realistic demo. And this doesn't just work for realistic photos. You can also use cartoons or anime. You can also input animals and challenging poses. So here are some examples. On the day he was born, I looked in your eyes and felt your sweet love. I knew you were the one when I opened my eyes and heard from above. Oh, nothing. Just, uh, whoa. <laughs> Stretching before we hit the aisles. <laughs> Shopping is the number one cause of pulled hamstrings. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. <laughs> So those are some anime examples. Notice it even makes her blink. Notice everything is so consistent. Finally, I think this is the perfect tool for creating anime. You can just generate an image using flux or stable diffusion and then plug it into this to get them to say whatever you want. Now, instead of anime, here are some examples of more 3D characters. Yes, this is his position in two words. A little while since, he obtained an excellent offer of employment abroad from a rich relative of his, and he had made all his arrangements to accept it. Oh my gosh, this is like seriously the most impressive lip sync face animation tool I've come across. Everything looks so realistic and natural, the way she moves her entire body, not just her face and lips. And notice it also animates the snow in the background. Here's another example. You boring is easy. Everybody can be boring, but you're good at that. Life is not a game, people. Life isn't a cereal either. Well, it is a cereal. And 
And if life is a game, aren't we all on the same team? Seriously, with this, I mean, anyone could eventually make their own Disney Pixar style movie just with a laptop in their basement. We no longer need, like, high budget animation studios to create something like this. Here's another example. That's a pretty short clip, but note how it's also able to handle multiple languages, and note how it also animates his full body plus the background. Here's another example showing that you can also input an animal into the scene as well. Very nice, very nice. And then here's another sample image generated with Flux. <gasps> Me? Yes, I would love to talk about something important and think about an idea worth sharing. Again, I'm pretty speechless here. I mean, if you can spot any flaws with any of these videos, please let me know in the comments below because, you know, just from an initial glance, this seems flawless, plus it's so realistic. Here's an even more abstract example of some vegetable character. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, hey, how did you find me? I know I'm a little bit wrong, but I hope you eat Again, just really awesome quality. And here are some more rapid-fire examples showing different poses. So, for example, this woman is resting her head on her hand. Let's see if it can handle it. When someone is dreaming, we can say the expression that he hurts the body. That's it. And then this person is wearing a mask, which is even trickier. Let's see if it can handle this. Absolutely insane. Okay, here's another example. And just explore all the musical theater options out there, but don't just stick for the song that everyone thinks is amazing. Back in the 80s, man, remember? No man, no man. So no one was... Thanks to AI Portrait for sponsoring this video. A good professional photo on your LinkedIn or business profile makes a huge difference. Now, you could try to take them yourself or get a friend to do so, but most people aren't great at taking professional photos. Or you could hire a professional photo shoot, but this costs over $200 on average, plus you need to schedule a session and spend hours awkwardly posing at a camera. And this brings us to AI Portrait. You can generate a portfolio of professional high quality photos in just minutes. Just upload one photo, choose your gender, and it would generate a portfolio of 50 professional headshots in various settings. And it generates this within minutes. So if you're looking for high quality professional photos without the hassle of a physical photo shoot, AI Portrait is your best bet. Check it out via the link in the description below. Here's an example with another language. Here's an example of some person driving in a car, and you can see it's able to animate the background as well. You, you want me to tell people that, that I've spoken with God? Yes. They'll put me away. I'm tired of all the talk that I may be dead. Here's another example. We would be justified to seek vengeance. But instead, we will choose peace. We must choose peace. And notice how realistic the earrings move along with the face. Here are some additional examples. Give people something to believe in, and they will move from you and me to us. And I work when I get the accolades, when, when I, I go in fleets and flights, and when people say that you know they, they have read my autobiography or they have read my books, then I understand that what... Notice in all these examples, they all have five fingers on each hand. So I think we are well past the stage where AI can't generate realistic hands and fingers. This looks like a real legit TED talk. This was how I was making an impact in the lives of my 60 students. So Here's another tricky pose of a woman using a phone while on a subway. And it handles it perfectly. Here's another even trickier example. So this old woman is holding a glass of water. Let's see if it can animate that. Ladies and gentlemen, as a new client of Home Instead, 
and friend and former neighbor of Lori and Paul Hogan, I am so honored to be chosen to offer the invocation this evening. And my goodness, look how realistic it animates the water in the glass, plus the waves in the background. Again, if you find any flaws with this, please let me know in the comments below, because at least to me, I'm really blown away by this. It's really hard to point out any noticeable flaws. Now, instead of talking, you can also upload singing audio. Now, because I'm posting this on YouTube, there might be copyright issues with posting existing songs, so some of these videos might be muted. When I am alone, I sit and dream, and when I dream, the words are missing. Yes, I know that in a room so full of light that all the light is missing, but I don't see you with me. in the best place to find a lover so the bar is where I go me and my friends at the table low in shots drinking fast and now we talk slow we come over and start up a conversation with just me and trust me I'll give it a chance now I'll take my hand okay so the only flaw in these examples is the hands and the fingers aren't actually playing the instruments so it's not really aligned with the instrumental part of the audio. So currently this is only good for lip syncing to a singing voice. And we are not done yet. Here's what I think is actually the most useful feature of OmniHuman. So like I said, not only can you input audio, but you can also input a video of someone else or yourself moving, for example, to actually control the body movements of your input image. So here's an example of that. But how do we produce food without destroying nature? How do we deliver to 10 billion people affordable, nutritious, and sustainable so notice the original input video is on the top left. Now on the top right, this is taking like the first frame of the input image and then just syncing it with the audio. So notice how the AI is kind of generating this man's movements on its own. Now in the bottom left, the AI is now syncing not only the audio, but also the body movements and the hand movements of the original input video on the top left. So you can see how the movements of his body and his hands are aligned with the top video. And the only thing that's different is what he's saying. His lip movements are different. And here's another even crazier example. You can even just separate the hand movements and ignore the body movements. So in the bottom right, we are only taking the hand movements from the original video, but we are ignoring the body movements. And this is what we get. So a really flexible and versatile tool. Now notice that I featured a ton of similar tools in the past. For example, Microsoft's Vasa One, which can also animate a face with any audio. Or Kwai Show's Live Portrait, which also does the same thing. Or I also covered Echo Mimic V2 recently, which can animate an entire upper body photo with any audio. But honestly, this new tool, OmniHuman, by ByteDance just obliterates everything else. This is way more realistic, way more natural. This is seriously mind-blowing. So if you compare some benchmark scores on like animation quality, notice how OmniHuman gets the best scores across the board. So this first chart involves the quality of portrait animations. And then the second table involves benchmarks for full body animation quality. And again, note for this table as well, OmniHuman just dominates the benchmark scores. Now, I've scanned the entire project page as well as this technical paper, but there are no indications whether they will release the code or not. However, because they did release the technical paper revealing all the details on how they trained it and the architecture, I'm hoping that eventually they will open source this, or at least release this tool for us to use. But actually, let me know in the comments below, do you think this tool should be released or would this be really dangerous? I mean, with this, we could forge any video of anyone we want. I mean, these will create deep fakes at a whole nother level. Anyways, this just came out a few hours ago, but this is really impressive to me, so I just wanted to share it with you as soon as I heard about it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. 
As always, I will be on the lookout for the top AI news and tools to share with you. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, there's just so much happening in the world of AI every week, I can't possibly cover everything on my YouTube channel. So to really stay up to date with all that's going on in AI, be sure to subscribe to my free weekly newsletter. The link to that will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.